Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. I did a video in the past, a quick Q&A video on the Tracer Desktop Suite and going over a bunch of questions you guys had before. And since then they've released their full version of the Desktop Suite for the Tracer Hardware Wallet. And I've seen a bunch of questions and comments in the section below on the last video. And I wanna address four of those questions today that I've seen that I haven't uh, kind of gone over yet. So um, there's about four of them that I have. Uh, the first one I can answer quickly. So the first question I have here is, I added ERC20 tokens, but after logging out of Tracer and logging back into Tracer, the added tokens were not saved. What is the setting to avoid having to re-add ERC20 tokens over and over on each login? Okay, so basically once you add the ERC20 contract address to your account, if you don't deposit any tokens to the address, as far as I can tell, based on what I've used and what I've seen, um, and you know, trial and error on my end is, if you don't actually send any tokens to your account after you add the contract address, it's most likely gonna disappear. So usually when I add a contract address in the section, I make sure that I deposit tokens right afterwards. That way, every time I log in afterwards, I go to tokens and it'll show all the available tokens that I have in my account. That way I don't have to re-add them. Okay, now the next three questions kind of go hand in hand. And as you guys can see here on my screen, I'm on Mandela Exchange and I've, I've purchased some Matic and some Link just to go through this uh, as a quick demo for people who have questions about these three right here. So the first question is if I were to send one of the tokens that are available like Chainlink, what would be the contract address? Do all ERC20 tokens use an Ethereum address? Yes, all uh, Ethereum tokens use an ERC20 address. So basically any token that's running on the Ethereum network will use your Ethereum address. So there's no need to uh, send it to a distinct blockchain because it's built on Ethereum. So Chainlink, for example, or another token like Polygon, as you can see, they're both ERC20. I'll be sending them to my Ethereum address and I'll be doing that demo here shortly. Um, I'm gonna cover these next two questions as well because they go hand in hand. So can you do a video showing how to move ERC20 tokens off of Tracer? I'll cover that shortly. And the last question, I wanna send Matic Polygon to my Tracer uh, Model T. I understand it's an ERC20 token. It's not supported by a built-in software on Tracer Suite yet. Instead, I usually go through my crypto and my Ether wallet um, as shown on Tracer's website. And here in your last tutorial, you've shown that ERC20 tokens can be added to your Ethereum account on Tracer Suite. So which way do you recommend? Honestly, you can go both directions now. Um, I used to use my Ether wallet a lot for my, uh, my tokens, um, but now I basically just use the Tracer Suite uh, or I use the Exodus wallet uh, linked to my Tracer device if the tokens are supported by Exodus. But if they're not, it's mainly Tracer Desktop Suite, and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So when it comes to Chainlink and Matic, I have the two contract addresses right here, as you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the link address, and I'm gonna go down to my Tracer Suite, and I'm going to go to my token section. As you guys can see here, I can add a token. I'm gonna paste this address in and hit Add Token. And now, as you can see, it's added the chain link token. So when I send tokens to my account, they'll show up here. I'm gonna do this one more time to get the Matic token on there. I'm gonna copy this address, go back. I'm going to go to tokens, add token, paste, add token. Now, as you can see, I've added the Matic token and the chain link token. So now, if I want to receive these tokens, I just go to my receive address and I copy my Ethereum address. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to show. I'm gonna log in here real quick. And then once I confirm my address on my Tracer device matches the one on the screen, I'm gonna hit the check mark. I'm gonna copy my address, minimize this, and then I'm gonna go back to the exchange. And I'm gonna withdraw both of these to my account. I'm gonna paste my address in the link box here. Hit max, submit. Get code. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for my Matic tokens here. I'm gonna to go to withdraw, head over to Ethereum, paste in my address, hit max, and then hit submit. And I'm gonna go through the withdrawal process again on the exchange, hit get code. And confirm. So I've now shown you guys how to add the Matic contract address and the Chainlink contract address to your Tracer suite. Now I'm gonna go back to my Tracer. I'm gonna go back one step here, head over to tokens, 
And now I'm gonna wait for the chain link and Matic transactions to arrive in my account. You can now see that my chain link and Matic have both arrived in my account. So now to cover the third question here where it shows how to take ERC20 tokens off of Tracer. So all you would do now is go to send and you would paste the address you want to send your tokens to in this area here. And then you would switch this from Ethereum to either Link or Matic. You put the amount that you wanted to transfer here, choose your gas fees, and then you would just submit the transaction. So one more time, just go back to the token section. You'll see your tokens here. You would send, choose the address you want it to go to, and then you would choose either Matic, Link, or the Ethereum in your wallet right there. And that's pretty much it for that question. So that kind of covers the fourth question as well, showcasing how you do this on the desktop suite versus using my Ether wallet or my crypto. So I like doing it on here now because I'm used to doing it now in the new, set, uh, the new setup. So it's something that you can use instead of those two other options. And that covers those four questions right there, guys. So if you have any more questions on the Tracer desktop suite, just put it in the comment section of this video and I will compile them and add them for a future Q&A session on the Tracer devices. Thanks again for the support, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.